Hi, welcome again to my channel. This is going to be a quick video. I'm just going to do a couple of quick tips that I discovered that really, really help. Now first, I'm going to show you an eyebrow trick. Now, I was screwing around with this. Uh, it's an Avon Glimmer Sticks. And I was messing around with this yesterday with my eyebrows, trying to fill them in without looking like a cookie monster or something weird. And I started going like this. I'm going to come in closer. Up here. All right. Check this out. By the way, I'm just going to get right into the video. I don't, I don't need to spend time doing a lot of talkie talkie. I'm just going to get right into it because I got to go in a little bit, and my husband's in a hurry, so I'm going to do this quick. All right. So what I started doing. I started going the opposite way. Look at that. Look at how perfectly that fills it in. <laughs> it was just crazy. I started going the other way, and then here, look at that. And then here it goes. It's weird. Weird little scraping sound, but. And then, watch this. And then where you see little sparseness, go the opposite way. Look at how that just fills it. Fills it in perfect. And then on this, up. It's hard to do it on camera, but I'm doing my best. I like that. I really like that. All right, now this eyebrow. You could see right in through here, that's where I'm sparse. Look at how great that turns out. And then on this, just like this. I think the trick to this is, is to use a hard end point, you know, something really stiff you want to make this work like this. I haven't really tried it on any other pencils except this one right here. I tried it with this one and it didn't really work that well. I don't know if it, there's a difference, but you know, this is one of those that you twist. So. So I just keep on like coloring like that. So you just go against the grain and color. And then smooth it back out like that. And then of course these. And I thought I would start with the eyebrows. Now what I did already on my, now I've already done my whole face. Um, and then I put on, I just put foundation and I put concealer and I put a little powder on my eyes and I've got a little bit of Urban Decay um, the white, I have that on my lid just a little bit, but that's just, to, you know, to get everything prepped for the next trick I'm going to show you. So, okay, just finish out. Here, let me do it this way. Same. And then back this way. Look how perfect that looks. See, I really like this. Now, I'd like it a little fuller through here, so I'm going to go back this way. And then up. Wow. I mean, that, isn't that cool? Look at that. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so that was trick number one. All right, trick number two. Now, this involves your eyeshadow. So, all right, like I told you, I already got a little on here. That doesn't mean I'm going to stop there. Okay, I'm going to take a fluffy blending brush, and uh, I'm going to start with a mid-tone, of course. You know, just do your eyeshadow like you would normally do it. I'm um, trying to decide which one to start with. All right. Um, I think I'm going to go with, I'm going to go with this, with my Naked 3. And I think I'm going to, I'm going to hit limit right here. I'm going to hit my limit. Just a little bit in there. Most everybody knows how to do this. You know, you just start there, just start applying it. Okay. 
Dead cat, dead cat. Oh, she just sleeps. It's her favorite thing to do. Sleep, sleep. I'll get back on my farewell. <laughs> okay. So, you know, like I said, what you're going to do is keep putting on your eyeshadow like you normally will. Um, you know, like you normally do, just put on your eyeshadow, get it all done, and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get everything put on there, but then I'm going to show you something when I get right back. So that's what you do. Just put on your eyeshadow like you normally would, and uh, and then when you're done, I'm going to show you this trick. Or I'm going to show you this trick. Okay. All right, I got it all packed on there like crazy. See, it's all packed on there like crazy. Make sure see that all right this is my secret it's a little kabuki brush it's a bare minerals kabuki brush you've probably seen these well what I do is after I get everything on there you know I've got my blending tools and everything but this does something better this look at this look at that now I don't have the lid color on yet this is the crease Just, and then swoop it up that looks like wow I mean this blends it so good just over and sweep it up look at that you see my skin tag right there I had one right there and it got froze off I'm gonna have this one and there's some more I'm gonna have those froze off too and I'll show you what it looks like I will share that with you it doesn't really hurt it just kind of burns a little bit but the first time the second time it's a little more intense because uh, if it doesn't fall the way off you have to go back and have it done again which is what I did with this this was disgusting it was huge look you can see it and then you can see that one so those of you gals like me with skin tags you can get them froze off your doctor can do that they use nitrogen and uh, they take a big long q-tip and they just dab it on there okay so anyway getting back to this look at how it blends it I mean that just takes away all the hard work and then what you can do after that then you're free to do the lid so let's do the lid okay what I'd like to do I like a chubby stick this is really good especially in a hurry if you have a husband like mine he hates waiting for me to put on makeup he hates it hates it hates it hates it I like this chubby stick Okay, so I did some chubby stick um, on there, and okay, I'm gonna put a little bit of this. It's just uh, TG. I don't know. I just I like this one color of the whole thing. It's a good color. Fall out. Okay. Place this right there. Okay, all right. All right, I'm gonna blend that too. It's gonna save me a lot of time. Look at how that was a good trick. All right, I'm gonna finish the rest of my eye makeup. All right, since we're in a big hurry, I don't really have time to do eyeliner and all that. So I wanna show you real quick my last trick. Now, I don't recommend this for everybody because everybody's gonna say, oh, you'll ruin your eyelashes or whatever, but you can do this if you're very careful and um, it works for me it really does I mean I like this this is a good trick so what I do is after my mascara is on and after it has dried I mean that's the trick to this it has to be dry to do this like I said disclaimer I'm not recommending this unless you're very careful all right so this is what I did and watch a big difference this makes now I use some Mary Kay lash love on here but I am in the market for a new mascara and um, if anyone knows of a good one I don't really want to spend over 20 bucks let me know in the comments below look at that see and especially if you're in a hurry if you are in a hurry this is this is really good and see it didn't damage my eye or nothing my eyelashes are not bent and weird I've seen the pictures and they all make it look bent and weird and crazy but look at that I mean that really helps all right so that's it with my two little three little 
trip blah my little tips that I gave you and um, I'm always coming up with more if I find more I'm gonna share them with you of course anyway if you like this uh, give me a thumbs up and please subscribe so you will get more of those and that's it all that's all I got for right now I gotta get going he's ready to come barging in the room so okay I have to go but thank you so much for watching and have a great